just click uh, apply okay then uh, you can directly click the negative and press ok now we will have two ports port 1 and port 2 uh, at uh, the open boundary windows ok you just remember this one you have to give the excitation at the open boundary windows so this uh, is the basic design of um, a meta material unit cell um, the only thing remain is I have to simulate this one so this is about CST if we'll go to HFSS uh, the design procedure is same exactly I have designed the same structure by using the same designing procedure as you can see uh, if you have some kind of knowledge in HFSS you can easily draw this one and uh, you have to draw the same boundary box I have designed in CST or I have bent it um, you can see uh, the inner ring this one is the outer ring this one is the wire and this one uh, is your substrate this one um, is your boundary box okay so all the things are ready uh, also we have the PC boundary in um, you know x axis since our uh, direction of propagation will be in y so PC boundary both of the PC boundary are in x axis uh, and in z axis we have the magnetic boundary towards uh, the coils then um, we have over port 1 uh, one port is propagating and uh, this one is another port so everything is designed as uh, in CST everything is similar uh, you can easily design this one okay there is no need to worry about it so um, now on the uh, both uh, in CST and HFSS design is design is complete we will now run the simulation and see the results okay so just go to transient solver and start the simulation you can see the simulation is start um, then also in HFSS you can directly uh, analyze press analyze all to analyze the things now the simulation was start so I will just uh, okay uh, now the simulation is complete as you can see the steady state energy crash has been made and the solver is finished successfully so um, we have completed our uh, simulation now we will go for uh, um, the analysis part of view so as I had told you you have to first watch the port signal whether it is decayed to zero or not otherwise you have to increase the accuracy then um, this parameter you can see uh, straight away you can see there is a phase reversal around um, 9.5 and 10 gigahertz and uh, this is in db so you can uh, see the phases uh, it is visible properly it is um, phase in degrees so uh, around this frequency you can see a phase reversal uh, of uh, your meta material unit cell it is a beautiful plot so you can see it um, uh, is working properly um, by this you can take the arrow arrays of those kind of unit cells and uh, develop your uh, negative uh, wave propagation or negative uh, index lenses also you can use them for novel wave material um, interaction properties so this is the basic results um, in degrees or you can show the magnitudes um, you can also see the real parts and imaginary parts um, these parameters so <coughs> this is uh, the results um, if you will go to the basic papers uh, regarding that uh, meta material uh, you can see and um, you know you can uh, merge those results to um, see whether you are correct or not so that is in CST if you will go to HFSS uh, also the same design process and the same simulation I have got the results uh, you can see yes this is the magnitude um, of s parameter this is the phase in degrees uh, it is quite similar to the result in um, CST you can see um, both the results um, it is uh, in degree this is also in degree um, if you see the scale uh, yes you can um, analyze both them and um, 
make a comparison you know there is a little bit difference uh, in the core values uh, since um, both of them um, made in different uh, mechanism of calculations that is uh, electromagnetic simulation so uh, by adjusting the ports and all this thing we can exactly match both of them okay so <coughs> Uh, this is all about uh, simulating a metamaterial square splitting region material in its cell using CST and HFS. So you can understand um, how to give a boundary condition and how you can uh, you know um, give a port. Basically, many people uh, getting some doubts on how to see use um, you know electromagnetic simulation uh, to make a unit cell or um, analyze uh, a meta material if you have done a new one okay so this is the basic things uh, may and this video will help you to understand the basic building blocks of a meta materials um, please uh, if you have any doubt you can contact me um, as before i had told you you may subscribe my video channel if it is uh, <coughs> helpful um, by this i can get more space to give more videos to uh, all of you for understanding better understanding of electromagnetic uh, simulation and uh, hardware parts also few hardware parts also i will cover uh, within uh, short period of time okay so you can contact me thank you for watching this video